Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm making fried wontons with two tasty dipping sauces. The first sauce is for the kids. It's a sweet mayonnaise sauce. And sauce number two is a spicy mango relish. I ate with my family in New York City's dim sum restaurants at least once a week. And back then, there wasn't really fried wontons because most local uh, Chinese in uh, New York City um, that's, not, that's just not something that we eat. Fried wontons started showing up at the dim sum restaurants in New York City maybe about like 20 years ago or something. But that's because there are a lot more local tourists as well as a lot of foreign tourists visiting these dim sum restaurants uh, these days. So these are all the ingredients for a fried wonton at a New York City dim sum restaurant. I know it's not a lot, but Cantonese restaurants is focused on uh, freshness of ingredients and it's as simple as it gets. Right here I have eight shrimp. Uh, total uh, 80 grams and right here I have 150 grams of ground pork you want a pork that is more fat than lean so always get a grind of pork that has more fat and these are just the regular store-bought wonton skins this recipe is going to make 24 pieces so it's just great for a small family so I'm going to quickly show you how to mix up the shrimp and the pork before I show you what sauces I use so my shrimp are already cleaned and deveined. So as I mentioned, I only have eight shrimp. I'm making 24 wonton. So I have to cut my shrimp into three large chunks. Okay, with that done, just add it to the pork. Break up the pork a little bit. So I'm gonna need a tablespoon of light soy sauce. Half a teaspoon of pure sesame oil. One large dash of ground white pepper. And folks, don't freak out. This is a jar of MSG, not baby food. This is just a quarter teaspoon. Throw that in. You can also use uh, chicken seasoning powder or pork seasoning powder, which is just basically well disguised MSG. And you just want to mix this until the pork and the shrimp looks like a paste. And it should take about a couple of minutes of mixing to get to that point. Okay, I'm almost there. So I'm gonna throw in two teaspoons of corn flour. And for the folks watching from the USA, corn flour is uh, called a cornstarch. But you can use potato starch or tapioca starch. The corn flour is just going to help everything bind together uh, better. Your mix should look like this. Uh, it's very pasty and very sticky with an off-white color from the corn flour. Okay, so now time for the wrap. Just have a little dish of water here. Since I'm only making 24 wontons, right? Each piece is gonna have one piece of shrimp, right? And just a little bit of pork because you don't want to overfill these suckers or else they'll explode. You wanna take your water and just run a wet finger around the perimeter, corner to corner, seal the edges and squeeze out the air. Just like that, squeeze it out, squeeze it out, squeeze it out, okay? And then you want to dab all three corners and just join them up together until you have a small little purse looks like that okay. easy easy peasy i'm going to show you one more time remember each piece has to have one piece of shrimp wet a finger run around the edge just a little bit of water, okay? Corner to corner, seal the edges, just like that. Squeeze out the air pockets. All right. Corner to corner, a little bit more water, and then just join up, and then join the corner, squeeze, join the last corner, and squeeze. And again, a little purse. Mm -hmm. 
try to overcome the urge to overfill your wontons because if you do, it's gonna explode when it fries. So I usually put in about, about just almost a tablespoon of filling, but not more than that. Because the reason why is wonton skins, they, they can overcook very easily and just turn like very brown. So the more filling that you put inside, the longer it'll take to cook, right? That's why most Chinese American restaurants uh, love to sell fried wontons because these are quick appetizers to make uh, when customers order it. And tourists, they love ordering fried wontons because, well, it's one of the things that they recognize the most, right? So. And final tip, you want to portion out your last, uh, you know, three or five pieces. Uh, this way, you're not short any uh, fried wontons. Okay, so you can see that was very fast, very simple. I'm just gonna make 12 fried wontons. And I'm gonna freeze 12 of these uh, because these are very easy to keep. Uh, you can keep these for like maybe a month or so. Uh, not that it's gonna last that long. Because you can easily just boil these for a wonton soup or just fry them uh, while they're still frozen uh, when your friends come over for a visit. Okay, so how do you know if your oil is hot enough for frying? Well, what you do is you take a chopstick and you stick it down in the center. And when it starts fizzing like that, you know your oil is hot enough. So I'm going to cook mine in small batches. When you cook small batches, you don't have to worry about your wontons getting crispy or not. And another key is to always move it around so that it doesn't burn too fast. Because there's so little proteins inside, it doesn't take too long for these to cook up. About a minute to a minute and a half. And you want to move these and turn it around ever so often just so that they brown evenly. Okay, that's enough. These were cooked about like a minute and like 10 seconds. And I'm just gonna wait like a minute for the oil to come back up to temperature. Okay, fizzing like a soda pop, hot enough. Put in my second batch. And because the oil has been hot longer, I always cook my subsequent batches uh, a little bit shorter. So this is my second batch, right? I'll probably cook this for just a minute. Take a look. Nice, plump, and crispy. Okay, so the first sauce that I'm gonna make is a spicy mango relish. Since I'm making such a small portion, I don't need a lot of mango for this. This mango piece that I just measured is 60 grams. You do want to get a ripe mango. This way it's sweet and it'll break down better into a relish. And then you just want to chop it up, making sure that it's not too fine. That's good enough. But before I do anything else, I'm going to taste a piece. Mm. Very sweet. Because if it's not sweet, you want to add some honey. And then for the heat, I'm gonna add in, I'm just gonna add in just half a uh, chili. I'm just using that. And these are just some small shallots that my wife's uh, best friend uh, uh, gave to us. Uh, it came from her family's farm. One of the fun things about living in Thailand is that you're always gonna find somebody who has a farm or know someone who has a farm that grows something. And ever so often they'll come over and give you like a gift of like fruit or you know interesting stuff like these little small shallots. Pretty cool, huh? and just chop it up into thin little slices. And drop it into the relish. And then next up for some extra heat, I'm gonna add like about half a teaspoon of sriracha. About half a teaspoon, right? And to balance the flavor out, I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon. Oh, that's too much, damn it. I was just gonna say a quarter teaspoon of rice wine vinegar. 
Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix this up. Okay, so I'm gonna give it a taste. Mm, not bad, <laughs> it's spicy. Ooh, vinegary too, but it's gonna be good. Okay, next sauce. This one's for the kitties. I'm just gonna eyeball it. Uh, let's just say about two tablespoons of mayonnaise, half a teaspoon of honey, a touch of lime, and a rough quarter teaspoon of epico. I think the kids will enjoy that. And just mix it up and just give it a taste. Sweet and tangy. Kids will love this. Ooh. Still nice and warm. And crispy. It's fast and so easy to make. And relatively inexpensive too. I mean, if you ate this at your local restaurant, how much would they charge this? I think I need a bigger plate. And there you have it, my fried wontons. Fast, easy to make, relatively inexpensive. I mean, think about it. How much does it cost uh, for you to order uh, six pieces of fried wontons at your local restaurant? Probably like 10 bucks, right? So I'm going to give this a taste. Since I'm a grown-up, I'll go for the adult sauce. Mmm. Crunchy, right? You can hear that. And look, the pork and the shrimp, perfectly cooked. So it's very juicy. Do not overcook these. It is very, very easy to become dry. A minute to minute and 15 seconds is all it should take. Now I'm gonna try the kitty sauce too. Cheers. Mmm. That's some good stuff.